Today we're talking about the Per Gear 10mm F8. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson, and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a behind the scenes look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now before I start things off, I do want to mention that I was sent this lens to test, but I'm not required to say anything specifically about this lens and so you get my full and honest opinion. Now with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a very interesting lens. This is a 10 millimeter body cap lens and I'll be honest I struggled to find ways to actually film with this lens and how to come up with who I'd recommend this to because it's such a unique lens and so with that let's go ahead and start breaking down this lens and as always we're going to talk about the image quality build quality and my overall thoughts slash who I think could be useful for and let's start with image quality I've already said it this lens is super unique the unique characteristics of the image of this lens is it's an ultra wide 10 millimeter lens and it is going to have a set aperture of f8 it's not going anywhere other than f8 so it may be better for landscape or architectural shots now since i'm neither one of those things i really struggled to see how i could benefit from this lens and so after a few weeks of shooting with this lens and really struggling on how to film with this lens and what type of filming i could do with this lens what it does for me is gives me more of a grungy look that's a little more wide angle kind of grunge look let me explain with the 10 millimeter you're obviously gonna get the ultra wide look and match that with the f8 you're not letting in a ton of light so if I'm using something like the pocket 4k because it's not letting in a ton of light if I'm in a lower lit scenario I have to boost the ISO and that's where I started to see a very unique kind of stylistic shot and that's that grunge kind of earthy look because what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a ton of grain in the shot now if you're not into that then definitely use this for what it's intended for which is probably landscape or architectural but like I said that's not me and so this is some of the results you're gonna see from what I did now I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not gonna be clinically sharp but it is sharp enough to do any type of filmmaking with it for passion projects or indie filmmaking projects and so beyond image quality what about build quality and honestly I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about build quality because this is a freaking tiny lens and it's decently built you do have kind of a peg here on the front of the lens that's going to control the focusing you're not going to have a hard time getting things in focus with f8 but you can really nail that focus with that peg kind of moving back and forth there i do appreciate that there are some kind of gnarling here on the sides so it's a little bit easier to grip when you're taking it off the camera being that this is such a small lens it can be kind of a challenge to get it on and off the camera because there's just not a ton to grab onto. But otherwise, really sturdy build, good quality. So build quality is a pass. Honestly, there's not much to it. So we're just gonna move on, decently built. So with image quality out of the way and build quality out of the way, what are my overall thoughts and who would I recommend this for? Somebody that is doing more gimbal work where they're trying to get something that's kind of everything's in focus. You normally roll with F8, you need something a little bit more wide. This may get you there. If you're doing architecture shots, this is absolutely one to look into. And then beyond that, if you're just looking for a certain character, if you're looking for something super interesting, you need something that's a little more wide, and it's lower profile, this may be one to look into. Like I said, if you're looking for, you know, is this going to be a sharp lens? It's not going to be clinically sharp, like I said before, but it is going to be sharp enough for you to do a film with it. Something that may be more indie level, maybe not like a feature or something high end or something like that, but it's going to be a pretty decent lens for the cost. And so that's all I have for the per gear 10 millimeter f8 but something else I'm doing in this video is I am talking about the winners and finalists and just participants of the microfilm challenge that I've been putting out over the last few weeks I was originally only going to showcase the top three contenders but since we only had a little bit over a handful of contestants I'm actually showcasing everyone now because I don't want this video being super long I'm not gonna break down everyone's video what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna play these through and you can see all these films for yourself and then from there I'm going to announce the two winners and talk about why they won and so with that being said enjoy all the entries from the MBTV microfilm challenge let's do this
Teresa, a spirit in heaven, to bring you into paradise. Before we begin, we must go through hell. There are nine circles, all with the mist leadings of those who have died inside. Are you ready? Yes. Then follow me. Marco! Marco! Hello! Marco! You're kind of stupid. Marco! <laughs> Marco! Hello? Marco! Very funny. Haha. <laughs> Marco. Polo. Very funny. Haha. <laughs> I'm dying of laughter. Marco. Polo. Marco. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Catch me howling at the moon household pesticides, and two can become over 1,200 in just 42 days in your home. Fact, there's only one way to handle a problem like that, Orchid. With over 85 years of proven experience, and the only nationwide money-back guarantee in the pest control business, that's why more people in more places call Orchid more than anybody else in the world. Call Orchid today for any pest problem you have. Get a slither of doubt and then soon it turns out to be this mountain of madness. Oh, this is hell in a hand basket. It's bastard children playing hide and seek between dilapidated buildings and shards of concrete. There are no playgrounds in these towns. No jungle gems for them. No green space dedicated for relaxation or shelter when the sky rains bombs or the breeze blows bullets or the earth can't stop us. Shake, take a moment. Let us reflect on this mess we have made. We 
have rejected nature's voice all in search of material gain donning the rags of the disastrously insane my god not this again All right, so those were all the contestants of the MBTV Microfilm Challenge. Thank everyone for participating in this challenge. Now, obviously, I would love to let everybody win, but unfortunately, there can only be two winners. And so who are the winners of the MBTV Microfilm Challenge? Let's start with winner number two, which is Leo Nell. Leo, I have talked to Leo a couple different times. I love this film because it is just there's so many reasons why I love this film. I love the color grading. I love the sound design. I love the energy. So congratulations, Leo. You will be getting the per gear 35 millimeter lens as well as a pocket LED from Moman. All right, so the first place winner is going to be Shot by Hop. I loved this microfilm. I love the narration. I love just the overall kind of composition of the shots. I love how we've edited everything together. And overall it is just a very moving film. Uh, and so hands down, I, there's really nothing I can add to this on why this film should win. It is a very powerful, moving film and beautifully put together. And so congratulations, Hop, you have won the MBTV Microfilm Challenge. Again, I wanna thank everyone for participating. Everyone really did a great job of just busting their ass to get these films put together. And so massive, massive thank you. And with that said, I'm also gonna give a shameless plug to the Discord that I've started. This is a whole category of this Discord is a community showcase. I wanna do more community showcase. I wanna showcase your work. If you have YouTube channels, I wanna showcase your YouTube channels. I want this community to succeed together and I want each and every one of us to level up together. And so if you do want to showcase your work, if you want to talk about your work, if you want to, you know, be a part of a community of people that want to talk about films and are a little bit more like-minded, definitely check out the Discord and be a part of that discussion. And so with that said, congratulations to the winner. Thank everyone for participating. Thank you for joining and I'll see you here next time. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace.